So, do you remember how to find the domain? Well, in this case, even though we have a factor function, to find the domain, it's pretty much the same thing. It's just that we have one, two, three, three components. First, look at this component and then just set the restriction for the t, and then likewise do this, likewise do that. Starting with the first one, we see that we have natural log. So, the input here has to be greater than zero. That's the first condition that we have t plus 1 has to be greater than 0. So move the 1 to the other side. So that means t has to be greater than negative 1. That's our first condition. Next, we see that we have a fraction. That means, well, we have two different things to work out. Make sure the bottom is not equal to 0. So I'll put this down. This is number 2. Square root of 9 minus t squared cannot be equal to 0. And you can just work this out real quick, square both sides, and then do it whichever way that you want. You know, put the t to here, t square here, so t cannot be plus or minus 3. All right? So in fact, we cannot have the n values uh, of the inequality that I'm about to show you. Here, inside of the square root, there's also a condition we have to set. It's this right here. I'm just showing you guys like one step at a time, all right? Usually, if you have other stuff in the front, you have to make the whole denominator not equal to zero. But the third condition is we have to make sure the inside of the square root is greater than or equal to zero. So in fact, when you are dealing with domain questions, we have seen all three kind of things that you have to worry about. Inside of a log function, set it greater than zero. Anything on the bottom, set the whole thing not equal to zero. And the third thing is, when you have a square root, make sure the inside is greater than or equal to zero. In fact, any even number root, such as the fourth root or sixth root, you set the inside greater than or equal to zero. If you have a cube root though, x inside here can be anything because cube root of negative numbers is defined, but not the square root. Now, to solve this inequality, notice this is the quadratic inequality, I would recommend you guys factor this and we will get not sorry, we will get three minus t times three plus t. All right, and then from here, let's go ahead and find out the numbers that we care. I like to call this the number we care. We care about from here, how can you make this equal to zero? Well, t has to be three. So we care about three. And from here, how can we make t this thing equal to zero, well, negative three. Then let's draw a number line. Here is negative three, here is three. Usually we look at here and say, okay, t is this right here is greater than or equal to. So we should include these two values. But earlier we said that t cannot be plus or minus three. So we have to implement that right here. So open circle, open circle. Now well, actually, I would just, uh, let's just keep it uh, from there, right? All right, and then now just go ahead and pick a number uh, less than negative 3, plug in. You can do this in your head. Let's say if you test out, let's say, negative 4. Put negative 4 here. 3 minus negative 4 is 3 plus 4 is 7. And then 3 minus 4 is negative 1, so that would be negative. We don't want that. Put a number between this and that, let's say 0. Put it here, put it here, it's 9. It's greater than zero, so we want this. If it's bigger than three, that's say seventeen or so. The first point is negative, the second one is positive, so all in all is negative. So we want this portion. So now we have this, this, and that condition. In fact, we just need to worry about this and that together. For the first one here, t is greater than negative one. Let me just show you. Let's make a cut right here. Negative one is greater than so open circle, go all the way to the right. But pay attention to the overlap, which is from here to here only, right? So fine, well, by the way, the last thing is, whenever you have two to the t, well, the domain is just all real number for this, so it doesn't really matter what t is. So we're good for that. But the condition, what the domain for this function 
it's just negative 1 to 3. So I'll just write down negative 1 to 3. Do not include the negative 1 and do not include the 3. And that will be the answer. Actually, I think because we're using t, usually we like to put this down in inequality. So we put down t is in between of negative 1 and 3. Do not include the n values. So that will do it.